Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now this edition's about a subject that kind of got into my live last night. And that is over harvesting of lakes because some people take home bass. And I was like, well, it's okay to take bass. I said, I have friends that take bass home. And it became this whole big thing about, so you're saying harvest bass, you're saying take them home, even like big ones and all that. I'm like, no, that's not what I said. I just said, yes, people can take them and people do take them, but it's not gonna devastate and they're not gonna over harvest it and suddenly you're not, there's not gonna be any fish there. We're, we're mostly talking about the shot I have behind me. As you can see, there's 11 Asian fishermen lined up there. I've been going to that lake for three years. They're there almost every time I go. They're always in that same spot. They're mostly crappie fishermen. These are almost all crappie fishermen. But according to the people that I kind of got in this debate with, they said that they've seen them put 10 pound bass in their bucket and take it home. I'm like, really? These, these people that are <laughs> throwing out their little <laughs> crappie jigs and that are catching and taking home 10 pound bass? I'm like, really? Well, you know, I need, if that's the case, I've never even gotten a 10 pound or nine, five, but I'm gonna start using crappie jigs. If, if these people just sitting there on shore are, are evidently just raking in 10 pound and five pound and big bass and throwing them in their bucket and taking them out. I've never seen it happen. I've seen them catch a lot of crappie and put them in their buckets, but still guys, it's, it's <laughs> okay. If, if the pond is maybe two or three acres, maybe like 10 acre and has a lot of access, and sure, you have people lined up like this all the way around it every day of the year. Yeah, they might over harvest it and it might be tough to catch fish in there. They, they won't get rid of everything. But I, <laughs> I, I was saying, these people, this lake is 240 acres and, and half of it you can't even get to, the shore, the other side, you can't even get to. And these people fish in the same spot. That's gotta be like one tenth of a percent of the whole lake. Yet they were convinced and they were telling me, you watch, you watch, if these people stay here suddenly you're gonna go there and you're not gonna be able to catch any fish because they're gonna catch everything and they're gonna clean out the lake. Really? I'm like, all right, well, if every fish in the lake at some point comes along that little 30 yard bank there, then yes, I guess they could <laughs> over harvest and clean out the lake. But I really don't think all the fish are gonna visit that little spot <laughs> right there that they fish <laughs> constantly and constantly. And I've been fishing in the same place here and i'm still catching bass there i'm i've caught my pb in this lake actually right here where all these people are it was like a five and a half and i caught it right there i haven't personally i have not seen any detrimental thing from these people coming and catching their crappie and maybe the occasional bass i don't think they're all 10 pounders they catch but and their occasional bass and taking them home this, I mean, if you look at tournaments, big tournaments, I used to do the FLWs as a co-angler. When you had like over 100, 150, and you had a three-day tournament, first two days, there might be 1,500 bass brought to the scales. Uh, like three to 4% of them die on average because of, you know, being gut hooked or just problems with the aerator and the live well or whatever. And there might be 30, 40 bass that die each day all the rest are released. The ones that die, they take and donate them to people so they can eat them. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, that's 40 bass, but I don't know, it's, there's limits. That's why they set limits. I, I've seen more people at uh, Coyote Lake than this lake. And I see people come down, throw out their worms, and suddenly within an hour, they have their bucket of their five keeper bass. And I see people do that constantly at that lake. And I still go to that lake and I still fish and I still catch plenty of bass. And again, that lake, Half the lake you can't fish. You can't fish the whole other side. And that lake's like 600 acres. So I don't know, I just wanted to come on here and do a biology bites and tell you that um, that's probably not gonna happen. I mean, what, what will harvest the lake more than this is the cormorants. Now yesterday I captured some footage. Unfortunately it rained and it got hot and there was moisture underneath <laughs> my clip-on lens on my camera. But I'm gonna show this little clip of me talking about what I was seeing. And this was a school of probably like 100 cormorants, close to. And whatever they were schooling, they were diving every five. But, well, all right, here's that little clip. Anyway, you can't see anything but like a hazy screen. See what I'm seeing out there, guys? Look at that. That's actually a school of cormies. I wonder what that was. It's a school of cormies pushing something. I saw them coming from way down there. You can see them over there. See them all diving? Look at that. I wonder what it was. Look at that, they're all just diving. 
They got they got probably got the shad schooled up. Yeah, they're just pushing them. <laughs> they're going nuts. They're diving like every two seconds. And also, uh, all right, well, I got a, I took a still from it and uh, want me to put it up now, but in the corner, you can see it circle the whole huge line of, in a clear spot up in the corner of all the birds. I'd worry more about big schools of cormorant in the lake because you get them in schools like that where there's 40, 50, 60, up to 100 of them, and they can eat a bass up to about two pounds, believe it or not. So if they want to target the bass, and I'm sure they do, and especially the juveniles, and you get a lot of those six to eight inches in there that get in schools. Cormorants could, I would be seriously more worried than cormorants than 11 people sitting on shore, crappie fishing, and them catching the occasional bass. Because most of these people don't target the bass. They might catch one, but they were just saying they've seen them catch 10 pounders and put them in their bucket and take them home and eat them. Even that, I mean, it's not gonna, it's, it's not suddenly, not a lake that size. There's so many fish in there and there's so much areas that you can't fish. And these people just sit there. So I wouldn't worry about it if you're a diehard catch and release and you might run into somebody that's like taking three or four bass or even five bass home to eat. Don't just like start crying and go, oh my God, there goes my lake. I'm never gonna catch anything. I actually joked, if you can't catch them there and you think that's the reason, maybe you need to become a better fisherman. Because I can go all those places and I still catch fish and I've never seen an effect. In the last three years, I've been fishing a spot that these people sit on like probably three or four or five days a week. They're always there. I get there before them and I catch bass right there. I don't get it, but guys, it's okay to eat some of the fish. I mean, it's not going to ruin a lake unless it's like, you know, two, three acre little pond then yes, you could overharvest it. But a lot of times if you don't overharvest it, everything in there gets stunted and they only get about that big. So harvesting will help that, but that's another subject. All right, so there you go, guys. I just had to come on and say this. I don't promote it. And if somebody does catch a big bass, I say, and they say, oh, I'm gonna take it home. I'm all, hey, dude, if I catch another, if I, I'll catch some two, three pounders or even one pounders, let me give you those. And you know, just let that one go. Let the big ones go. I don't care if you take the one or two pounders that's fine and I'm an advocate for it. I don't say, I don't hand all my fish to people that want it for food. I'm like, you can keep yours if you catch it, but no, I'm letting this one go. They were saying I was an advocate of harvesting and keeping your bass and eating them. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm saying just a lot of people that do and in the numbers they do it, it's not gonna affect the lake. All right, that's gonna do it for this little Biology Bites. Please join us for our other videos, our fish videos, our tips and tricks, our blogs, our lives. We go live a lot, just like where this came from. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope this helps. I hope this takes your like worry about these kind of people destroying your lake, because I really don't think it's gonna happen. They would have to catch a lot more fish than they do and fish all over every other spot in the lake too. So don't worry about it. All right, till next time.